Let's talk about how to supersize your business through thick or thin. Sharon Hornell here. not the best representation, but it's visual. So today our expression is through thick and thin. This idiom originated by Geoffrey Chaucer in Canterbury Tales between 1387 and 1400. Now, it also appeared in Richard Baxter's A Saint or a Brute in 1662. So it's been around for a long time. It actually originated as through thicket or thin. Back in the days when the United Kingdom was very forested and covered with trees, you'd have to go through a lot of thickets to travel from place to place. And it was hard. So whether you had to go through thick things and thickets or thin open spaces, it meant that you would get to your destination. So what does it mean today? It means that through many difficult times, through every situation, through every difficulty, through every obstacle, we'll get to our destination. So how does this apply to supersizing and growing our business? Well, in my experience, pretty much every day, we have experiences that are challenging or difficult or obstacles or problems that come up that we need to find solutions for. And some days are easier than others, right? Same is true of our relationships. Since we're doing relationship-related idioms this month, to coincide with the annual challenge through thick and thin applies to our relationships as well as our businesses. When we decide we're going to create and build a business, guess what? It's not always going to be a bed of roses. Everything isn't going to go exactly as we have planned. And so we're going to have to be able to roll with the punches, rain or shine, good or bad weather, positive things or negative things. We're going to have to be willing to find the solutions and figure it out, right? There's always a solution. I find it fascinating that so often we, we box ourselves into a, we have to do this or that. We have to use this supplier or that supplier when there's probably a thousand different suppliers of the same things we need out there. I'm speaking from a manufacturing background. A lot of the businesses I've been involved in and love the most are manufacturing business. I like to build and create things in the world. So, uh, I've had lots of experiences where bad things have happened and good things have happened. And I'm sure if you've been in business any amount of time, you have as well. I've, I've had projects that's that have bombed. I've had $800,000 days. I've had, you know, negative days, right? Negative days where bad things happen. Or I had a partner more than one occasion, a partner that was involved in criminal activity and, and stole from our company. I've had court cases and legal battles. Some I've won. I think I've won all my legal battles, legal cases, if I think about it. I haven't really lost a court case, but that's a last resort to me. I don't want to have to go to court for anything because I know how much time and energy it takes and how much negative energy it brings into our organization. So curious today, have you committed to creating your business, creating the outcome you want, the business, the change you want to see in the world, no matter what, until we commit to that, we give ourselves an, an excuse or a reason or an out, and we are more likely to quit a business if we've not adopted the, I'm going to figure it out, I'm going to do whatever it takes to be successful. And remember, successful is determined by you, what your business is designed to do, be, and look like is up to you as well. But have you committed to that 100%, no matter what, no matter COVID, a lot of businesses had not committed to that and don't exist anymore because the COVID pandemic created for them situations and problems more than they thought they were able to handle. Of course, they were able to handle it, but they, they chose not to for whatever reason. Everybody's situation is different. But millions of businesses went out of business during the COVID pandemic. Other businesses were created and are thriving beyond the owner's wildest dreams because of the same thing, right? Because of COVID. Without COVID, millions of people wouldn't have come online. Without COVID, uh, millions of people wouldn't have figured out that they can work from home and make as good as or better a living than they had by going into the office every day. So share in the comments below your experience with this particular idiom or expression through thick or thin or through thick and thin. Uh, have you heard it? Have you used it? I guarantee I've used this one before. Uh, probably maybe said in good or in bad weather or in rain or shine more often than this, but I've definitely used all of those idioms and expressions before, especially when we're having challenging times in our businesses or in our life. All right. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another relationship related idiom for the month of June. Have a great day.